Here we are at the world famous Stafford's Chocolates here in Porterville, California. And we're gonna go in and meet the owner and get a little tour of his uh, business. <clears throat> so we are here to meet Rob, the owner of Stafford's Chocolates. And Rob, I'm Jason Wally. Jason, good to meet you. Nice Welcome to, meet to you. Stafford's. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got a beautiful store. Um, you know, I told you as a kid, I remember it's Stafford's Chocolates, but it looks different. <laughs> and uh, uh, tell us a little bit about how you came okay. to be the owner and tell us where <laughs> we're at now. Okay, well, um, if you went to Stafford's back when you were a kid, it was probably a block right over here in a little building uh, that's still there. In um, fact, we feel a tremendous amount of responsibility uh, as, as the owners now to to carry on his tradition. Yeah. And you've, you've, you've grown the business since you've uh, owned it considerably. Oh, yes, we, we have. Um, uh, I think that uh, uh, Larry was an amazing uh, chocolatier, but he, while he was chocolatiering, he didn't have enough time to, to go out and, right. and, and do his, you know, let everybody know. So when we bought the business, uh, we had a very simple plan. We, need every, we just needed everybody to take a taste of Stafford chocolate. Okay. And we're good to go. Okay. So we were, we, uh, we we kept his son and son-in-law working for us. Okay. They originally, we were only going to stay for a couple of weeks, yeah. and ended up staying for about two years, which oh, was wow. great. Oh wow! Okay, that's great. Yeah. Gave us uh, time to to, to learn the business. Knowledge transfer there mm -hmm. really worked. My son actually um, moved back up here to learn to learn the business, okay. and and uh, he's ultimately become a, a pastry chef and, and oh. quite a um, chocolatier in his own right. Okay. Um, but uh, along with those guys and, and, and the extra help in the kitchen that gave the rest of us a chance to go out and, and do a lot of guerrilla marketing and, yeah, okay. and uh, went to okay. a lot of events, just handed out chocolate everywhere we possibly could and grew the business organically. Sure. You know. Well, tell me why you even wanted to buy the business. What, what sparked this? Oh, gosh. Yeah. What, what did you do before? Like. Oh. I, I, I've kept my job th this entire time. Oh, okay. In fact, I'm retiring in about two weeks. Oh, wow. Well, congratulations. So, so, um, <laughs> retiring so you can do more work. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, and now, now I can be the, yeah. the real delivery guy. Right, right. So, um, I work for a, a Chevron marketer out of Stockton. Okay. And uh, have a territory that covers a good a good portion of the valley and, and the coastal areas. Okay. Um, uh, I had grown up in the family business, and we had sold that, and I and I missed it. Okay. And so missed kind of running a business of your right. own. Right. Okay. And, and and the whole family dynamics there. So yeah. so um, the idea of, of, of working with my son. Yeah. Um, the son I get I worked, that. Like I, worked, <laughs> right? like I worked with my dad. Yep. It, was, it was pretty awesome. Um, my uh, my sister joined in, and she she runs our shop uh, down in Solvang. Oh, okay. And also our new shop over in Avila Beach. Okay. Um, and my dad does a little bit of, of he makes all the boxes and stuff oh, for nice. us, so okay. that's pretty cool. Yeah. And, um, my daughter, who works for Google, you know, helps out on, on that end from time to time. Okay. So, so, and there's times when my wife, who teaches school, you know, she'll she'll come down. So so it, it's a real family uh, a real that's family great. business, and yeah. that, that's. That part of it is um, is the most fun for me. Sure. Um, I, I love being able to help people grow personally and professionally, and when uh, when it's it's family, it's even more special. Yeah. We, yeah. we we definitely feel the same about everybody that works here. But we're, uh, That's great. we're getting ready to uh, start bringing all of our Valentine's uh, products out here in this yep. next week. Yep. A little bit of decoration, as you see, has yep. already happened. Yeah. So we're a little light on, on, on some things at the moment, but. Yeah. Uh, um. So what, um, you said your, your son now is a chocolatier <laughs> and, and a pastry chef. Um, was that something he was interested in before and, or did this kind of spur that to be more of yeah, a? Yeah, good question. Um, he went off to college. Okay, okay. But uh, when, when I I'd mentioned to him that, hey, you know, Stafford's is for sale. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna do this unless you come back and 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 help right and because you still have this full-time job too i wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna stop that right, right and he said yeah okay dad i'll, I'll come home I, i've always been interested in that stuff i had no idea okay and so it really took off once he got here and um we've really taken advantage of of his knowledge throughout and um i think you you can taste those in our truffles and some of the other things that okay. um, 
that we have today that are really quite unique. And maybe yeah. kept some of the favorites from each location? Oh, sure. Well, you know, Larry invented the, the ooey gooey bar. Okay. And everybody knows that. That's world famous already. Yeah. Um, which is a, um, our homemade marshmallow layer of peanut butter, a layer of caramel, dipped in chocolate, and then nuts on top. Okay. In fact, we, we have uh, somewhere around here an actual mascot now of the of, of the ooey gooey, of the ooey bar, gooey bar. <laughs> and his name's Larry. Okay. Right? So, and, uh, ooey gooey Larry's his name. Nice. And that's pretty much a favorite. Uh, we we uh, yeah we're still doing you know s'mores and what Larry called um, um, cow pies, which are really just a big turtle <laughs> that are pretty famous. Right. Right. And, uh, I remember the yeah I remember the turtles yeah. And, and his toffee and, and caramel and. Uh, Turtles are all just, you know, they're all, all fan favorites. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we sell those everywhere. I know you right. recently got the the Rhymers uh, mm -hmm. location up from uh, Three Rivers, which was a, also a favorite of mine and my family's. Um, you know, will you be incorporating? Like, do you kind of each one of those kind of retains its own local niche, or do you yeah. kind of plan on bringing them? mixing and matching that's the challenge isn't it yeah. so so we bought um, the three rivers store um, the Oakhurst store uh -huh. and the one at Avila Beach as well okay so that gives us six stores now yeah, that's a lot three of them make chocolate and they all three make a different type yeah okay so um, figuring out a way how to tell it marriage those uh, marry those and incorporate those into into something that that runs efficiently yeah yeah right yeah. Um, is is kind of a, a challenge for us now. Kind of, I'm looking forward to that. And word of mouth is 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 the best form of of, of marketing that there is. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, we get people from Bakersfield all the way from Fresno, a lot of Visalia, Hanford yeah. folks all the time. Okay, um, literally coming here and almost for for this mm -hmm, specifically. Just for this, just I think that's great. I think that's great. So. Um, why don't you show us a little bit around the, the facility okay. here? Okay, this is Evelyn. She's one of our best baristas. <laughs> Hello, Evelyn. Um, she's making a couple drinks now. When we moved to this shop, uh, we decided to put coffee in. Yep. And we thought that that would be a neat way to, you know, just to get more traffic in every sure, day. Sure, sure. And uh, thought thought a, a good gourmet coffee went real well with our gourmet chocolate. Absolutely. So we use Intelligentsia coffee that's... Um, um, Pretty high-end stuff. If you go to New York um, and to to uh, maybe some of the Michelin star restaurants yeah. there, you're gonna, you know, there's a chance you're gonna find this coffee. It's, okay. Not many people uh, um, know about it around here because it, there there isn't anybody else. Yeah, I don't think it. I've heard of the brand. Yeah. Um, so very very high-end. It, it's it's my it was my favorite before we we got it. Yeah. And it was almost a miracle that we were able to. Um, to get this here, yeah. and the only okay. reason was was because at the time the intelligentsia rep liked going up to the sequoias to go, to go camping yeah. And, yeah. and hiking, and she knew right where Porterville was. Just like you said, she went through Porterville to get there, and she thought, "Hey, I can set Porterville up as one of my accounts. Nice, gives me another reason to come by." Yeah. <laughs> um, now we're one of their largest uh, largest uh, uh, accounts. That's so great. They're they're, That's they're great. that exclusive, so we're. Yeah, yeah very happy to have them and I love it because I can get up every day in, in my hometown of Portugal drive down here and get the best coffee anywhere it's, it's amazing all-time favorite so we love we love intelligentsia some of our um, we do have some some of our own uh, our own drink signature drinks you know the Jason it was uh, is named after a guy that worked at the bank who'd come in on Fridays <laughs> when the bank stayed open later and Needed that extra couple of, <laughs> you know, a little extra boost. Yeah, yeah, um, the yeah, Porter okay. Villain, yeah. which is uh, another one that, that we've invented that's pretty, that's pretty uh, famous. Yeah, that's um, great. The Affogato Freeze, which uh, if, it's just kind of a take off the Affogato dessert, which is basically um, vanilla ice cream with a couple of shots of, of espresso, espresso on top. Mm -hmm. So we mix that into a milkshake. But okay. the cool thing is, once you start mixing it into a milkshake, you can put anything in it. Right. And you can use other types of ice cream. Okay. And so the sky's the limit with that. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we actually make an ooey gooey affogato for Oh, nice. With okay. leftover ooey gooey yeah, yeah, bar yeah. parts. Yeah, so that's that makes kind of, sense. 
And so. as you can see, even up on the wall over there, we at one yeah, point we that. decided to to kind of have a wall that commemorated our uh, first responders. Yeah. Um, in Porterville, and so that's that's kind of a special deal. People will drop off patches, and we'll just keep adding. Well, that's adding cool. To that. Yeah, so that's awesome. That's kind of cool. So normally we have um, our chocolatiers going to town, and we have enrobers and and, and uh, temper machines and all kinds of stuff going. Um, on this side, we make all of our toffee and caramel and stuff right here by hand. It gets put on that big table, which today is, is being used to to wrap chocolate bars, sure, of sure. course. Um, on that end over there, as you can see all the packaging stuff. We're getting yep. ready for, for Easter. Day. I mean, yeah, Valentine's Day over yep. there. Yep. We, so your we production essentially is right here. Uh, this is it. Most of it. We have. Okay. We do have some uh, machines in the back. I'll walk you around yeah, this yeah. way okay. uh, to show you those. But uh, totally. so, okay, yeah. let's, let's take a shortcut through okay. here. 